Hello everyone, right now we're in Musanze. It's a small town in northwestern Rwanda and right next to it is Volcanoes National Park. And in Volcanoes National Park, you can see the mountain gorillas. This is the number one attraction in Rwanda. And now Amani's gonna give us a few tips about how to book your, uh, your experience. Well, my name is Amani, I work with RDV and uh, I work in tourism department. Well, uh, when people want to book for the gorillas, the first thing they have to do is to call the office. The numbers are on our website, www.rdb.rw. So when they call our office, we tell them the availability, if there's still available permits. And then when there's still available permits, uh, there are two ways to call, I mean to book. The first way is to either, if they have their agent in Rwanda, if they're booking through a tour company, uh, to send them to RDB to pay the 750 US dollars for foreigners, and then we give them the permits. Um, the second way is to pay online. Uh, after telling them if there's uh, available permits, they can go ahead and deposit the money on RDB accounts, which uh, an agent of RDB will tell them once they call the office. So how far in advance should somebody book their trek, and what happens if they don't show up for, their, for the day of? Well, uh, it depends. In the high season, we recommend that people book uh, as early as three months, let's say, three months or four months, to make sure they secure their bookings. But still, uh, they can arrange their tickets once they're in Rwanda. If they didn't come mainly for the gorillas, they can try and come to our office to arrange and see if there's somebody who has canceled the ticket and therefore they get a chance to, um, to track the gorillas. But that one, uh, I would say that we don't recommend that because, well, at a certain time, you might not be able to track because uh, that is just a chance, you know. But three months would be better in the high season especially. And if you can make it as long as you think about visiting Rwanda, just book your ticket. And what happens if somebody misses, uh, like they don't make it on time? Um, if somebody doesn't show up, let's say, at the briefing, then that means he's not going to trek the gorillas. He's not going to visit the gorillas, and that is non-refundable because uh, you didn't inform on time. If you have a problem of health or something that RDB can understand, uh, so you'll not be refunded. And so basically how it works is uh, every day they have gorilla trekking, almost every day. It's about 84 people maximum and they go see many different groups. Um, we wake up, we woke up this morning at 5.45, we were in the car at 6.30, there at 7 and 8 on the dot is, or was it 7.30, I think 7.30 is briefing. So if you miss the briefing, if you're not there for when they call your group, you absolutely miss it and you don't get a refund. So for me, gorilla trekking was the best experience of my life. Coming in contact three feet away from the babies and then also getting brushed by a silverback, incredible. They can actually touch you. Now, why is Rwanda the place to visit the mountain gorillas? Well, uh, thank you. We, we've got gorillas in different uh, countries, but then when you look at what they've got, some countries you will visit the gorillas and uh, you only see one gorilla, two gorillas, uh, but in Rwanda, you have a chance to see as many as possible. Let's say uh, we have groups of 40 gorillas. We have your group, the group that you've just tracked, has 24 gorillas, silverbacks, more than one silverback, babies, and uh, our gorillas are rehabilitated. So they're used to people, they will play with you, they will tease you, they will enjoy to be with you, uh, which is a wonderful thing in Rwanda, which you'll not find anywhere else. So Rwanda is the best place because, first of all, the conservation is strong, Gorillas are rehabilitated, they used to people. And then you, we have a chance, we've got many, many mountain gorillas. The only country in the world to have many mountain gorillas. There's three countries that border this national park. It's Congo, Uganda, and Rwanda, and here they have the most. Amani, thank you. You're welcome.